So we're here at the Optima here at CES 2018 and hi, so who are you? I'm Billy Harrison, product manager for mainstream video projectors. And uh, Optima is a world leader in 4K projectors right now, right? Yeah, sure is. Yeah. Since June, we have shipped more 4K projectors than any other vendor by a margin of five to one. Five times more than Acer? Five times more than anyone else. And BenQ and uh, all the other guys. Five and so right here, this is the latest one. Uh, so you had the UHD 60, which is 1999, and this is... Right. This is UHD 50. It is designed with the new Texas Instruments yeah. DMD. Um, the goal is to make 4K more accessible. So we have a new price point of 14.99. So if actually it's like a lower cost of 4K even? Right, right. But has many advantages. Uh, UHD 60 had one HDMI 2.0 port. UHD 50 has two ports of nice. HDMI 2.0. It is still 4K UHD. 8.3 yeah. million pixels meets the CTA requirement for 4K UHD, has HDR by way of HDR10, support for DCI-P3 wide color gamut, there is 15% vertical lens shift, which we have across our entire 4K line, and a 1.3 zoom. And a 123 Excuse uh, me? zoom? The, 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 the zoom is a 1.3 zoom. 1.3, all right. Yes. Uh, so, so actually it's even better than the UHD60? In some respect, yes, uh, with the two HDMI ports. How about the brightness? Uh, brightness is 2400 lumens. UHD 60 is at 3000. So it's a little so, bit less? Yeah, so if you still prefer to have a brighter image, then you could go to UHD 60. But here we have 2400 yeah. lumens and an RGB, RGB color wheel. And as you can see, you can even still view the image with ambient light. Is it the same size as the UHD 60? Or UHD 60 was 19 inches wide. This this unit is down to 14 inches wide. Whoa, there's a bunch right? smaller. It's, it's not as deep by two inches and it weighs five pounds less. So, wow, it's smaller, more, less weight, yep. $500 cheaper. Yep, is and it's, in some sense it's portable because it's, it's easier to move around the house. You can move it from a living, living room to a bedroom to a den. Is there any chance this might be 9999 by the end of the year? That's a little difficult to say at this point. Black Friday? We're just shipping, so we'll have to wait and see how things right. work out. And then you have another one over there. Can we go right. there? Right, sure. That's our UHD 51, which, which will be the world's first Alexa-enabled projector. All right. So it has the same uh, uh, quality in terms of all the projection and everything? Is uh, Yes, it is also 2400 lumens, 500,000 to 1 contrast ratio. Yeah. A 15% vertical lens shift, a 1.3 zoom, RGB, RGB color wheel, and then of course HDR with HDR10 wide color gamut support. Optima always does 1.3 zoom, right? Now all their also the 1080p's is like, uh, is it because the lens is that the no, no, that make? No, it, no, it, it actually varies. We have 1080p projectors from 1.1 all the way up actually to 1.6 zoom. Yeah. And the UHD 60 and 65 have a 1.6 zoom. 1.6, is that more expensive? Uh, oh, yeah, of course, right? Anytime you have a larger zoom, you have a more complicated lens. So larger zoom means a bigger image. Right. A bigger right? image at the same throw distance, yes. So here's 1.3, both of them, right? Right. All right. So you, you need to put them a little bit further back to get the same size image. Uh, you could, d d depending on the image size that you're looking at. Well, that's actually not true here because we have a different throw ratio here. We have a shorter throw ratio here, which will allow this projector to be used in small to medium size rooms. And so Where with UHD 60 and 65, you did need to have a yeah. medium to a large size room. So how does it work? How could you trigger it? Can so, you say, hey, Alexa? So here, I will give you a demonstration. All right. Uh, Alexa, turn off living room. Alexa, turn off living room. Okay. Alexa, change input to HDMI 2 on projector. Okay. And here we have, we have moved from the onboard media player to the HDMI 2 port. And we have a 4K UHD Samsung Blu-ray player that's so, connected. So uh, it's doing all that it's connected to the Ethernet here, so the other one doesn't have Ethernet, right? Correct. There so, is no Ethernet. So here's the Ethernet. Port, and there will be wireless for the Alexa. Alexa yeah. skills can be utilized via uh, Ethernet or yeah. Wi-Fi. And, uh, and here's a USB host port, because this is actually a smart projector. It has Android. Yes, it's running, running Android. an Android operating system. Can you show how it looks? See the Android operating system? Okay. We have an Android OS. 
which features a built-in media player. So actually, it's possible to install Netflix, uh, Amazon? Not to install any apps. It is the base OS that we've used versus using some kind of custom yeah. Linux kernel. The yeah. Android operating system allowed us a fast time to market in terms of introducing Alexa, smart home, and custom skills. But so not for installing apps, for sure? No, okay. not for installing apps. All right. And uh, any chance it will integrate with Google Assistant too, or only Amazon? Uh, we are in the progress of studying for Google Home, and we'll release more information in the future. And this is only $200 more than the other one, right? Right. $14.99, $16.99. And otherwise, it's exactly the same brightness, the throw ratio, and everything. Right. Color gamut support, HDR, zoom, and, and lens shift. Yes. So uh, how big is it going to be, the 4K uh, DLP market this year? Uh, is it going like, to be huge, right? Because uh, the it's DLP the best way to experience 4K. The will continue to grow, right? We were the first company to have a 4K HDR projector below $2,000. And we're one of the first to have a projector at fourteen ninety nine. So the goal here is better pricing, more accessible, larger market share. 